This is FYI on your TV. I'm Kathy Botham and I have got my good friends from Build a Mountain of Food here. This is our 16th annual and we're going to start with Chris Craig. Chris, you are the organizer of this. You've been doing it for 16 years as well. I haven't been doing it for 16 years. I've been doing it for nine years. Oh, okay. uh, I took over from Huey Colton, uh, who started the campaign in Perth, uh, one location, and then developed it into 11 locations. All right, but you have been with the Build a Mountain of Food for longer than the nine years, right? Uh, no, only nine years. Oh, wow. uh, okay. I came on board when uh, Huey and I uh, had a chat about volunteering, helping him out at uh, some different locations, and I've been here ever since. So. Excellent, excellent. Well, we're here right now at uh, the Garden Market here in Smith Falls. There's four locations today, Chris. People can uh, bring some food? Yes, four. Uh, independent, uh, Andres's, uh, Food Basics, Giant Tiger, and right here at Garden Market. And you're one of the organizers. It's not just today in Smith Falls. You started three weeks ago. We started three weeks ago in uh, Carlton Place in Almond. It was 23 degrees out, shorts and t-shirt <laughs> weather. Uh, today, unfortunately, uh, we're in winter coats and toques. <laughs> and we're talking getting some snow this afternoon as well, too. They did say that. Hopefully it, does, it holds off till we're done, but, uh, you know, we take what we get. Yeah, that's right. That's right. So we're here and we're collecting food for our local food bank. It is Christmas season. They need food. It's, uh, you know, food security is such an important thing for people. They need food all year round, but uh, this time of year is uh, very mindful. People are very gracious in, in uh, making donations and gracious in volunteering their time as well. We've got some seasoned volunteers here. We've got somebody here that's her first time out. So this is Betty. Betty, how long have you been... Uh, volunteering? Uh, I do this every year for the last three or four years. Excellent, excellent. Are you usually here at the garden market? Or? Always at the garden market. I'm always at the garden With my market. my husband. Okay, and this is your husband here? Yeah, and I've been doing it about 10 years yeah, at the garden market. Oh, yeah. so you roped her in? I guess so. Yeah, I yeah, guess, yeah, yeah, eh? yeah, yeah. And you are new. How, how long? We're a team. You're a team, that's right, that's right. And this is your first year? Yes, it is. Yeah, and I have the opportunity that they accept me in oh, their team. Wow. So well, we'll take the help. Your name is Sarah. Is. Now, how did you get involved? How did you find out about Build a Mountain of Food? Because I do volunteer at the food bank uh, mostly every week. So I, I think just think it's a good opportunity to see people in the community and uh, having the opportunity to help them. Absolutely, absolutely. And how did you get involved? Uh, just I retired and something to do. It's Carolyn Barr hired me and. Uh, we just kept stayed on, yeah. Excellent, excellent. So you're, this is Sarah, this is Larry, this is Betty. Thank you very much for volunteering your time at Build a Mountain of Food. And Chris, for everything you've done. It's, your, it's a family affair, too, for sure. It is a family affair. Unfortunately, this year, our daughter can't be with us. She's in Sudbury at school, so everybody's messing her around here. Oh, I bet you, for yep. sure, for sure. Right? Well, we're thinking of her, for sure. And we're, we hope she's doing well. I'm sure she is. She is. She is. I, good marks on the home for Christmas. Oh, that's good. That's good. So we're off to our next location right now. We're at the garden market. We've got to uh, stop by the independent grocer. We're going to go to uh, Food Basics and Giant Tiger. And we're going to stop by the food bank today, too, and see how everything's going down there. But it sounds like it's pretty successful, and we've only been out for two hours. I have got two volunteers here with Build a Mountain of Food today, plus your volunteers at our Smith Falls Community Food Bank. I've got Veronica here. How long have you been volunteering at the food bank? Since March of this year. Since March of this year, and I've got you are Mandy. And I've also been volunteering since March of this year. All right, all right. Now tell me, why do you volunteer at the food bank? Because I love it. You love it? I, yeah. We were just there, and my goodness, the atmosphere there with the food, the food being unloaded, I say it, they're like a well-oiled machine. When all the food comes in, people just know where their job is. Know, they know where those gurneys are going. <laughs> Nobody gets in anybody's way. And like it, within minutes, everything's done and put away and everything like that. So you guys are, are fabulous while you're down there. Today, you're volunteering for Build a Mountain of Food. This is your first time? Yes, it is. It's you're my first time, and I'm really enjoying it. It's amazing how much food we've collected. The van has been unloaded how many times today? Twice. So yeah, it's been really incredible. And the location we're at right now is Giant Tiger. There's four locations in Smith Falls that are participating. It is Garden Market, Your Independent, Food Basics, and here at Giant Tiger too. So good folks at, uh, at Giant Tiger have been participating, I believe the whole 16 years that this has been going on too. So it's a wonderful place to be. Uh, you can go in. You, you got lists, you've got a list that you're handing out to people? Yes, we do. Maybe you can just rhyme off some of the things that people are looking for. Hey, we have on our list the regular things that we usually hand out, like cereal and peanut butter and canned fruit and vegetables and pasta, that kind of thing. But we've also added this year some of the other necessities that people really need, like 
uh, toothpaste and toothbrushes and soap and shampoo, feminine hygiene products and dish soap and laundry soap because this is what our clients have been asking us for. We all know how expensive it's become lately and this is really something that they're struggling to provide for their families. And it's really hard at the end of the month if you have to make a choice whether you need you, you, you need some your, your hygiene supplies, you need toothpaste, that sort of thing, or food. Yes. You're going to buy food for your family. That's right, that's right. Or they've got bags in there too. Oh yes, absolutely. They've got $5 a bag and there's the necessities in there. Um, each bag I think is a little bit different, but we're, we're filling the van with the $5 bags, no problem, and, and lots of cash. The people of Smith Falls are so incredibly generous. This is not, this is not anything new. Yeah, and I mean, it's very easy if you want to just go inside and buy a bag, too. It's all been filled with, with things that people need, too. So you can either get something off the list or you can, uh, just like this lady right here. Thank you so much. She bought a bag and she's donating it to our food bank, to the Build a Mountain of Food. So we are on location here at Giant Tiger. We're going to move on to our next location. Thank you very much for everything you do, ladies, for both for the Build a Mountain of Food and for volunteering at our food bank, too. You're, you guys are great. Our pleasure. So. Our pleasure. For yeah. sure. All right. And I am at Food Basics here in Smith Falls for Build a Mountain of Food. Four locations today, uh, building a mountain of food for our local food bank. And it's going to be your independent. It's a uh, garden market, giant tiger. And we are here with the good ladies from our food bank as well. You're both volunteers at the food bank. Yeah. We've got Keith and we've got Heather. You're both volunteers. How long have you been volunteering at the food bank? I actually, I just started in September. Okay, and what about yourself? And I started in April. In April, and here you are today in Build a Mountain of Food mm -hmm. out here in the elements. It's a bit chilly. It's a bit chilly. What time did you start at? Uh, we didn't start till 11.30 today. Okay, and yeah. you're at run till? We're going to be here till 2, and there'll be some other people here 2 to 4. Okay, and the people are taking turns, and they're, they're at uh, all these four locations just for a couple hours a day sort of thing, yeah. and it's working out really well. How oh, You guys are doing amazing. Yes, this is, uh, we've been unloaded three times now. Yep, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we have volunteers that come around and they, they take some food back to the food bank. We were at the food bank. You should see them working there. They're a well-oiled machine. They just open the doors and all the volunteers go to the door and get the gurneys out and bring it all in, unpack it. It's just amazing down there what happens. And you guys would know that because you both volunteer there. Yes, that's right. And two days a week? I do just the one day a week. And what about I do uh, Thursday nights. Yes. Thursday nights. Okay, okay. And the need this year, we were talking to Natalia, the need this year, the, it's phenomenal. The numbers of, of people that, that are in need right now. And it's not just food, too. We're, we're, we're talking about uh, hygiene supplies, that sort of thing. W people need that sort of stuff right now, too. Yes, they do. Yeah, that's right. And we see people coming out of Food Basics. We're giving you some great donations here, too. So we thank you for helping out at our food bank. Uh, you just started at the food bank as volunteers. I'm sure you're going to be there for a long time. What a great place to be. Everybody is just so happy, and they get along so well, so yeah. well. Are you from Smith Falls? Uh, originally not, but... Uh, last 30 years. 30 years. Uh, oh, you're a lifer. What about yourself? I've lived here for eight years. I live in Merrickville, actually. In Merrickville. Nice yes. and close. That's a nice little town, too. Mm. They uh, started building a mountain of food about two weeks ago, and apparently it was like 23 degrees, and they were in sandals and shorts. <laughs> and here we are all bundled up. So we thank you for your time and uh, helping out build a mountain of food. 16 years build a mountain of food has been going on. So thank you for helping out. So. We're here at uh, Food Basics here in Smith Falls, and uh, food, our Build a Mountain of Food is going on until about 4 or 5 o'clock this afternoon. 4 o'clock. we got Lee Craig behind the camera right now, too, with Corey, and uh, we, we're here till 4 o'clock today. So thank you, everybody, for helping out Build a Mountain of Food. 16 years we've been here helping out our food bank. I've got Catherine Brown with me. You are a volunteer with our local food bank, our Smith Falls Community Food Bank. You've been doing Build a Mountain of Food for how many years now? Uh, so last year I was the manager at the food bank, so I oversaw that for the Smith Falls Food Bank last year. Um, this is my first year as solely a volunteer, so uh, only two years, but it's an awesome campaign it's always amazing to see how much it makes a difference right? it really does you know we've been talking to Natalia who's the executive director at the food bank and she says the number has have gone up this year yes so from my experience uh, as manager and what I've seen historically for the numbers I think last year we were around an average of 351 clients per month that would use the food bank uh, and this past year I'm I don't know the exact numbers but it has almost doubled each month the usage uh, so it, it is up 
a lot, definitely. And it just, I think, reflects the cost of everything rising, uh, the cost of food rising, the cost of housing and heating and all of those things that are contributing to a rise in numbers, for sure. All the more important for for events like to build a mountain of food. Exactly. Uh, now, this is going on in December, but the need is all year round as well, too, for donations at our food bank. Exactly. Generally, uh, around the end of the year is when the food bank sees um, an increase in usage, uh, but uh, that's kind of been blown out of the water the past year with what we've seen because uh, the numbers were steady and high year round this year. So it's definitely needed and it definitely will make a huge difference to the families that rely on the food bank. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, you've, this isn't your first build a mountain of food. Can you compare last year to this year? Yes. So last year, I believe we received over um, 90,000 pounds of food, which is just amazing and on top of that there was a significant uh, amount of cash donations as well which was just amazing to see. Um, the food lasted until I believe it, around April. Uh, that was when we were starting to see um, certain items needing to be refilled and purchased on our shelves. Things that we wouldn't usually have purchased around that time. Things like staples like pasta and rice that we've never really seen us running out of that before in that way and it was kind of around April-ish, maybe May, is when we started having to purchase those items on top of the other things that we were trying to purchase and keep. But uh, this year I think they're expecting um, around February is what the kind of estimate is that it'll last. That could always change but uh, at least it'll get a couple good months of use to the food bank for yeah, sure. That's right. Now we are here on the day of Build a Mountain of Food. People are making really generous do donations in terms yes. of food, in terms of cash. Today's not the only day you can make a donation. I know there's locations like Food Basics, they've got a bin inside that you yep. can, when you're doing your grocery shopping, all year round. Exactly. So Food Basics has a donation bin year round for you to drop off donations as you're shopping or even come in and drop off donations that you have at home. Um, it's just right inside the door and so you can drop it off after you've done shopping. Independent also has a food donation bin year round, which is just amazing that these businesses are able to support us year round. Uh, we've got volunteers who go by and check the donation bins on a regular basis and pick it up and bring it to the food bank. Outside of that, you can always drop off uh, donations food or cash at the food bank in person while we're open. And you know what is a, a nice little tradition, nice little habit to, to start with your children is when you're doing your grocery shopping, it's just, you know, ask the child to pick something out and it's going to go into the, the bin when on the way out sort of thing too. So it's a nice little habit to get your children into as well. For sure. And every little bit makes a difference. Even if it's only a can of soup, some people think, oh, it's only a can of soup. But it does make a huge difference to everyone who's receiving that can of soup, right? Absolutely. You think of the person who's sitting yeah. down just having that nice meal of a, of a can of soup, something to exactly. warm up with. So you've, you've made a difference with every little donation you make. Yeah. And this will go a long way. Not as long as usual. But uh, that's just what we have to deal with when it's busy. That's right. That's right. So we will continue to support our Smith Falls Community Food Bank for sure. But uh, look at poor Lee just over there sh shivering too. <laughs> He's got the doors here to keep us a bit warm. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for everything you've done for the food bank in whatever position you hold because thank it changes you. all the time, but you just keep coming back. So we appreciate it. So it's awesome. Yeah. It's awesome to participate in NC. That's right. So Catherine Brown with uh, you're a volunteer now. Yes, Manager I'm last a volunteer. year. That's right. That, thanks for joining us. Thanks for supporting our food bank, everybody. We are here on Build a Mountain of Food Day in Smith Falls. It's been wonderful going around to all the locations. Thank you, Corey Agnew, for, for traveling with me. It's been chilly, but uh, it's been a wonderful program, what we've seen so far. There's so many donations, so many food donations, so many monetary donations, and uh, and, and hygiene supplies, too. we got to say that, that there's a need out there for that sort of thing, too. So thank you, everybody, that's come out today. It's the 16th year for Build a Mountain of Food, and as soon as we get some totals, we're going to get them to you in the next few weeks. So thank you very much for all your help. We're, we've got more donations coming in as we speak. This is wonderful. Wonderful. This is wonderful. So 16 years of Build a Mountain of Food. Thank you everybody for joining us today. Thank you everybody who's made a difference to our Smith Falls Community Food Bank. You can also make donations at both locations, uh, independent and at uh, Food Basics. They've got bins all year round, but you can always go to our food bank and make a donation there anytime. Thank you very much for joining us. Merry Christmas everybody.